Hello there guys, Coaster Chow here, Donkster Born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park newsroom update where today we're going to be looking at a potential rumoured removal at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom over in California in the United States. Now this is from a Screenscape article, uh, which we'll share on uh, at the minute, we'll, sh we'll share the details of that article uh, in a minute or so. Uh, but you can see what ride it is behind me. It is the Skyline Attraction Skywarp uh, Harley Quinn Crazy Coaster uh, in the DC Universe area. Now, we're going to share all the information so far and then share my thoughts on why I think this could be removed, why they think it couldn't be removed, and also share thoughts about maybe replacements. Uh, so before we get started, guys, make sure you like the video, comment down below your thoughts, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss YouTube video. Oh, my chest is not earned today. Uh, also, guys, go and check out the description down below for social media links, submitting your own video ideas using Google Forms, and uh, all that good stuff. The article will be linked down below as well. And for now, guys, let's have a look at the information surrounding the potential removal of the Harley Quinn Crazy Coaster at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom over in Vallejo, California. So Screamscape has been told that the Harley Quinn Crazy Coaster at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom has been removed from the park's website and app. And at the time of recording, I have checked and it's not there. Uh, given the amount of trouble the park has had with the ride, it seems that it, the park has had uh, the choice now to be removed from service. It's chosen to remove it. Uh, now at the point, uh, we're not sure if Six Flags is choosing to sell it or if they have simply chosen to scrap it. Uh, so here's some details for those of you who don't know much about the coaster itself. Uh, it is the vertical version of the Skyline Attraction Skywarp, uh, which is a particular type of coaster using single rail track. And uh, now this particular vertical model uh, did the Immelman loops and the, uh, the Immelman loop and the dive loop, and it sort of crisscrossed like an Infinity logo. And that was basically the whole sort of concept of that vertical skywalk. There is other skywalk models in production and already out there in the market. Uh, Tidal Twister at SeaWorld San Diego is another one. That's more of a flat one. That's a different size model uh, and a different type of layout uh, model as well. So if you want to go and check more stuff about Tidal Twister out, go and check it out. I will do a fat file on it at some point, so uh, stay tuned for that as well. Uh, now this one has a length of 360 feet, a height of 62 feet, a capacity of 800 riders per hour, a max speed of 35 miles per hour, and it's become a bit of a debate whether it's a coaster or not. However, debate no more, well you can still debate if you want to, but debate no more about the current status because it looks like Harley Quinn Crazy Coaster has been caught by the Gotham City Police, aka the Scrapyard People. So there we go ladies and gentlemen, thrill seekers of all ages, Harley Quinn has been captured, at least for now this version of Harley Quinn. Uh, we don't know if the replacement or any scheduled replacement for the ride will have a Harley Quinn theme or not. Uh, but there we go. Crazy Coaster looks like it's going to go or either be scrapped or sold to another park. Uh, whether it's in the Six Flags chain or not, we don't know. Uh, but maybe this is a good thing and a bad thing in the long term for either way. I'm looking at it from either side and playing devil's advocate with this situation as I would do with any of them. Uh, now, on the on first of all, let's get the, the the negatives on why this may not be the best move. It is still a new attraction. You're still going to give it a year or so to get up to full capacity, even though it has been under serious, you know, running technical problems for, for for since it's arrived, pretty much. You know, it was delayed by so long because of the technical problems it had, and um, you know, obviously that's one argument to combat the other. Uh, the fact that it's a newer attraction, so give it a year or so and maybe it could work or it could, might end up fixing those problems. Um, maybe maintenance problems and maintenance costs could have been a factor in the in the decision for it. Maybe the, the, the things that they needed to do to make it work better, maybe just cost that too much. It would have been cheaper to just get rid of it or scrap it altogether. So maybe that's a factor in the decision. Um, obviously, there is better ride types out there for that particular site. Yes, it is a thin uh, blueprint. Uh, I'm not looking at a coaster to replace it here. We're probably looking at some kind of thin flat ride. Uh, if you look at the Zamperla Hawk, for example, that's like your sort of 360 degree swing ride, I guess, swinging arm. Uh, I think Lumberjack at Canada's Wonderland is a massive example of that. Uh, I know it's Cedar Fair, Cedar Fair versus Six Flags. Y y let me off this one. <laughs> um, but no, Lumberjack at Canada's Wonderland is probably the best example. I'd like to see that, and maybe Harley Quinn has a has, has a theme on that, and it sort of becomes like uh, Harley Quinn Sledgehammer Slammer 
Um, something like that. Something weird like that. Like Harley Quinn slash Hammer Slammer. Something like that would be nice. Uh, and theme it to Harley Quinn's Hammers instead. And that would be a better ride, to be honest. Because it's sort of the family thrill market, in a way. So... Uh, it kind of matches the audience in a way of Harley Quinn Crazy Coaster because it's not really the most thrilling investment of the park, Crazy Coaster. It really isn't. It's more like your uh, sort of, you know, it's got the dive loop and Immelman loop and it keeps going in the infinity, which is quite thrilling. But it's not the most thrilling layout for a for a for a thrill seeker. You can get you can get sort of the the right uh, height of people that maybe are you know sort of younger to go on the ride as well so it's not really the most thrilling coaster at the park so it will not be a big miss in my opinion um if it's confirmed to be going but from what we've seen from the from the website removing it from the app removing it maybe we'll see some stuff on site uh, you know in the next few weeks it looks like all the signs are pointing to the removal of this coaster now whether it gets scrapped or sold is another question and another debate um if it gets scrapped, I wouldn't, you know, be against it because I think it's had too many technical problems, but it is still a newer model. So maybe with the right technical problems fixed by the manufacturer, then you could bring it somewhere else. And this is where the debate comes in of who could get the coaster. And this puts up the debate as well of is this relocation, along with maybe Goliath being relocated from Six Flags New England uh, to, in my opinion, Frontier City, are we going to have two relocated roller coasters for the 2022 season? Are we going to see Goliath to Frontier City? And are we going to see Crazy Coaster go to another park? If I had to choose any park, it would probably be someone like La Ronde. Someone at a park that's not got the biggest capacity compared to other Six Five parks like your Great Adventures, your Magic Mountains, your Great Adventures, and even Six Flags America in a way. Um, if they could send the the track somewhere it would be to either La Ronde or the Great Escape. I'm predicting La Ronde or the Great Escape with this one. Uh, so, but La Ronde maybe not because of the fact they're going to open V Pair in 2022 probably unless they don't open it, open it this year uh, which of course the Intamin Zach's been delayed from the previous year. So you know it depends on V Pair really. If they're going to open that in 2021 then maybe we could see a real, another relocated coast for 2022. Uh, if not, I could see The Great Escape opening it in 2022 as Laron focuses on opening the now two-year delayed, if it is being delayed this year again, uh, V-Pair Coaster. Uh, so there we go, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, my name is Coaster Chow. Keep living the coast of life. Happy end of April Fools, if that's even a tradition. We kind of fooled you a bit with the rebrand of the channel. But no, you, I think you knew deep down I would never do that. Always Coast Shell, never go back again. And for now, guys, keep living the coast life. And I'll see you guys in the next video. But for now, I'm Coast Shell, Donkster Bomb, but built for theme parks. Keep living the coast life. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.